top five topics for ACT math. So someone followed up with this. So yeah, let's let's be ecumenical here. And so top five ACT math topics. So here's the thing with ACT math compared to SAT math. And here's a difference between the tests. ACT math is much broader. There's many more topics covered on ACT math than SAT math. It's not even close. Um, there's overlap. But there are a lot of things on ACT math that are either that get more emphasis on ACT math or uh, don't even appear on the SAT. So it's a little bit harder to come out with a list because it's a different type of test. But I will give you, you know, the five topics that I think are, are, are pretty important to know. And especially one of them is plane geometry, especially circles and triangles all over the place on the ACT. So uh, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let's, let's make those two separate categories because they're, they're both pretty big and they're pretty important. So let's do circles and triangles. Absolutely important for ACT math. Uh, area, perimeter, circumference, uh, isosceles, equilateral, Pythagorean theorem, similar triangles, Sokotoa, trigonometry, um, all that stuff, very important for ACT math. Uh, what else would we say is important? I mean, again, there's so many topics, it's hard to really nail. It's really like on the SAT, you're going to see the same topics repeated two or three or four times. On the ACT, it's like each test has like one or two questions from each topic. So it's, it, it's, it's harder to get like a, a best of list compared to the SAT. Yeah, I would say factoring would be a big one. So factoring quadratics. So factoring, solving quadratics, just like on the SAT, that's pretty big. Plugging in, especially answers, is very a very useful tactic. So there's many ACT questions which you can solve by plugging in the choices into the question and seeing which one works. So knowing when you should plug in the answers, uh, when, uh, how to do that, the best way to approach it to avoid algebra can save you a lot of effort. Yeah, I'd say fractions and percents, just because it's stuff that you just haven't done very often recently, probably. So making sure you're really solid on fractions and percents, just like with SAT, is pretty important. So I would say those would be the top five. Again, uh, the uh, if you want to learn more about all these, I've got an ACT math boot camp course on reasonprep.com. I cover all these topics. Uh, practice questions we go through uh, in the ACT math boot camp, five tests. And then throughout the entire ACT math courses that I have on my site, I go through 13 complete ACT math tests, question by question. Um, so you get plenty of review of all these topics in all those videos. So if you want to learn more about that, check out that course. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.